Joanna Simpson here at QuantMinds International in Barcelona. Joining me now is Alex Lipton, Global Head of Quantitative Research and Development at Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. Thank you very much for joining me Thank today. Thank you, Joanna. If I could start just by asking you, how are you finding the conference so far? Well, I find it very enjoyable. I met a lot of old friends and made some new ones. So uh, the topics are quite uh, occurrent with the latest developments. So it's a lot to go for it. And just tell me a bit about your background prior to Adia. Oh, I have been doing many things in um, many countries and, uh, you know, for a variety of reasons, right? So I was born and bred in uh, Moscow, the Soviet, in the Soviet Union. I graduated from Moscow State University in pure mathematics. I have a PhD in this field. And then I came to the United States. I briefly worked uh, um, as a professor for several years until I became a full tenured professor at the University of Illinois. I also worked for the U.S. government at Los Alamos National Laboratories as an advisor. And then in 1997, I switched to banking for some reasons which had actually nothing to do with money, but uh, was just uh, solving a geographical two-body problem. And so uh, I started at uh, Bankers Trust, which was a fabled place for you know complex derivatives and stuff like that and after that i worked a couple other banks at citadel which is a hedge fund in chicago then at merrill lynch in london then at uh, bank of america when bank of america bought merrill lynch where i became a co-head of the quant team and then after a while um, after working 10 years and all in all at Bank of America, I left uh, to start my own business, so I co-founded a company named Sila, which is based in Portland, Oregon, and deals with payments and things of that nature. And then in uh, 2022, I joined Adia. So that's in a nutshell what uh, I have been doing. And why did you join Adia? Uh, well, Adia is a very exciting place to be. You know, a while back, a couple of years back, it made the decision to um emphasize analytical and quantitative aspect of the investment process and started to build what is called the q team which eventually uh expanded into strategy and planning it became an important ingredient of the strategy and planning department uh, some of my distinguished colleagues were there already including uh, my uh, um, dear friend and uh, co-author Marcos Lopez de Prado, with whom we got uh, um, by side Quant of the Year award uh, here last year, I suppose. Anyway, um, and so I just joined it and uh, never looked back. It's proved to be a very, very exciting place to be. Great. And what are the most important topics the Quant profession needs to address at the moment? Right, it's a very interesting question in the sense that uh, there are numerous developments uh, which uh, have completely reoriented the direction of the profession from when I started at Bankers Trust where derivatives were all the rage to current situation when on the one hand uh, the sell side requires uh, emphasis on risk management and uh, things related to risk management and on the buy side which I represent at the moment after so many years on the sell side um, I think the scientific investment investing becomes uh, very very important the other area which I am personally excited about is uh, application of distributed ledger technology in finance uh, right now we're going through very very turbulent times in this particular area but uh, i think that in the long run um, you know some of the applications of this technology including decentralized finance and things related to central bank digital currencies uh, would become of uh, great uh, import for the profession lots to be working on then alex lipton thank you very much for your thank time. you very much i appreciate it goodbye